product title is sports management system okay so this is our abstract for the sports management system so first of all the sports management is a field of business dealing with sports under recreation so the students will typically graduate with a bachelor's in sports management master's in degree management and mba in sports management or a phd in athletic administration or sports management so the master's degree is a popular choice for students that are interested in marketing scouting or even coaching as well so in this papers here we proposing a novel methodology for mining frequent event selection on sports management system so here the different events or the games based on the players based on classified for the user details or the player details finally the user cost and the game details stored on the cloud server through some cryptographic mechanism okay so this is the flow diagram for the sports management system so first of all uh, we will uh, initial our process so first of all uh, the first of all describe about what is the sports management system after came to the main frame so here the main frame is divided into three parts one is the normal sports details and the game details and the game details so the sports details based first of all the users uh, we get the login so it is called the profile generation so after profile generation the user is served with some particular data so it's called the sports so after the selecting the uh, sports file to be loaded on the database so after the uh, data set will be loaded into the database the data is going to be uh, clustering it is called the cluster events uh, that means uh, to be grouping the data processing events uh, after uh, we will cl uh, So with the games level, so what are the level? For example, football, basketball, volleyball. So different games levels will be classified. Finally, get the tournament details and the game details. So next to come to the game details is uh, to be purchased items and the player details stored in the cloud. Third one is the cost details. So the cost details is nothing but uh, till now we will process the data mining methodology. So next we will uh, go to the cloud computing methodology space. getting the data stored on the cloud server so in this process we will click to the cost details means just to get to the selecting a some particular files as the input so the input file means uh, selecting the frequent data frequent data is uh, taking some text file so the text file is uh, getting some public key based going to be data type it converted to the data type and it is called the data encryption so after the data encryption is stored on the cloud server so after the stored server uh, after the data stored on the cloud server the uh, user is access the some particular files okay so now our demo section is start for the sports management system so just uh, run to the welcome at java okay so this is our home page for the sports management system so when i click to the home let's go for the just introduction so uh, now the introduction for the what is sports management so the sports management is a field of business dealing with the sports under recreation so the concern works is sports management degree program typically prepare students for careers with the amateur collegiate and the professional sports organization so the students are able to uh, capitalize on several different types of sports related opportunities after graduating from the sports management system so next we'll go to the so this is the main frame so here the indian sports is uh, indian sports based the sports management system describing three parts the sports player and the cost so first of all the user selecting the sports so just here the user details So data of birth is going to be zero five one double nine. So 
password so just click to the register so they successfully registered so you have to click to the uh, type of the user as a so the valid user go ahead so uh, next is the users uh, getting the sports file so just to get the sports file click to the desktop sports management so the data sports data dot txt so click to the next uh, now the data is uh, to be stored on the database so this is the data classification for the different events so first of all the user is uh, getting the football classified one the data is stored Look to the basketball group even two so this is the football details so find the data stored just is selecting the PSG college store this is state players details click to the forward so now we will only see the uh, volleyball volleyball details so just to click to the show so this is a username as a major college so in major college what are the users are uh, to be affected in the events details to be analyzed analyze and uh, this is uh, a count of the participant game so uh, just to click to the So just to view the basketball details. So just to click to the major college. So finding the count as the best uh, goals. Show the row college. So hockey. Click to the move. So select other games as a cricket. So view best to play. This is the best to player details. So just to click to the players. So select the games as the uh, tennis so count to so information so just uh, this is the some frequent information stored on the database so uh, this is the uh, some play details this is the uh, frequent data so in this data is stored on the uh, one file so this is the input file so just to go back come to the cost so now the user is uh, getting the some particular file so uh, because uh, here i'm choosing the purchase data dot txt because in our frequent data is stored on the one text file the text file name is the purchase data dot txt so just to view the file so this is the name of the file is name sports dob clc name so just to click to the cost so just to process so the user is send the request to the csp so now uh, the csp is uh, receive the request from the data owner Okay, uh, so the CSP receives the data. So this is the key request to the service provider. So now the data is entering. The user is upload the file. The data is uploading. The user entered the file. So now uh, the data is uh, uploaded. So uh, files uploading. So files are uploaded. Okay. So now just the click to the URL. So just to store the user storing the files. So next we will click to the uh, down dot Java. So now uh, the files are actually uploaded. So here after the restriction means the end user to get the data. So the end user is uh, send the keys. So the CSP is uh, receive the data. Receive the data. And date. So uh, view that. So the view details. So validation details are true. So after download. So now the user files are successfully downloaded. Authentication successful. So the file is successfully downloaded because now the file is uh, encrypted mode. Uh, so after encryption, we will 
decrypt the data because this is our key so now the data is going to be decrypted so after the dec just a minute so the file is successfully decrypted so this is the original data so uh, just to click to the performance so now we will analyzing our performance for the sports management system so this is the different events so here the different events based the data is going to be classified Uh, so this is a sports management system this is a proper system effective for the players score details performance events and the best players so here the green color is the performance so in this process the performance uh, is very high because the uh, through some different events based but the cost is very low cost is very low but in existing process means the cost is very high in this process the cost is very low okay now the demo is finished thanks for watching this video thank you